jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland. This is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Please get yourself comfortable sitting in a comfortable chair that supports your body or lying down on your bed or maybe some other flat surface such as a sofa, a settee try to think of something else that's flat and comfortable. I guess the top of a giant sponge cake, but that's probably not applicable. I don't think I could lie on a... F I'd have to eat it. I'd be eating the whole way through it. Anyway, please don't eat during the recording because it can be a distraction. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to ask you to listen to my voice. But before doing that, I'd like you to get in touch with any surround sounds that may be there. Now, it's uh, it's been a warm day today, which is unusual. 9th of September, but it's been a really nice really nice day and it's a warm evening so I've got my windows open because it's too hot otherwise so I can I can faintly hear the traffic on the motorway the motorways are quite a long way away but it's quite a flat area so the it's a very faint sound it's not loud You can usually hear the trains as well. There may be the odd plane going by. We're not really on a, a flight path here, which is good. So I can hear that in the background. There's not much else going on here. If you're if you're wearing headphones, then you're probably not hearing much else. So what I'll do I'll ask you to now focus on the temperature of the room. Notice the temperature. Now if you're fully clothed may only have your face and your hands and maybe part of your neck the front of your you know the front of your neck maybe you can feel the temperature of the room and when you breathe you can also gauge the temperature of the air find quite as strange as sometimes even when I'm in a room where there's no windows open I'm the other side of the room on my bed in a closed door, door you know yeah I seem to sometimes feel a breeze just a very gentle breeze on my face when I'm meditating or doing self-hypnosis or something like that so I guess the air will be circulating around the room and maybe as we breathe now it changes the the air around our face I mean as I'm sitting here making this recording I'm just gently waving my left hand in front of my face and I can feel that cool air on my face maybe you could try that now just notice how just small movements I'm not 
start flapping my hand like I'm, you know, a dolphin or something. It's actually just moving it slowly in front of my face. I can feel the ripples of air just splashing gently against the skin on my face. feels relaxing. It actually feels relaxing moving my hand like that. Because I thought it'd be nice to gently get in touch with how you physically feel, but in a different way. Instead of focusing with your mind of your body, I thought maybe we can actually gently move some of those parts. As a bar dog starts to bark in the background, it doesn't matter because it's too far in the background to really matter. So some of the background sounds are, is all part of what makes this particular recording unique. There's no other recording that I ever make will be exactly the same as this. And no one else will make one exactly the same. Because this moment is now and it will never be again. That exact moment where the dog was barking and I was talking about moving, gently moving different parts of your body. And maybe the faint, distant sound of the motorway that almost sounds a bit like the wind, really. All came together for that one moment. Now that moment's gone, and now we're here in this moment. So I thought maybe what we'll do to start with is we're going to move some of your parts of your body. It's going to be gentle. So to start with, I'd like you to just your eyes closed. In fact, open your eyes if you want to. If you don't, then leave them closed. And if they're already closed, when you feel relaxed and your eyelids are heavy and you just don't want to open them, then just leave them closed. It's fine. Otherwise, you can open them for a couple of seconds and then close them again. Noticing that when you do close them, you feel even more relaxed than you did before. Another way to get in touch with your eyes is you could just kind of scrunch up your eyes a little bit, just gently. I guess it's a bit like frowning or something. And then you just let it go. touch with your eyebrows and your forehead by just raising your eyebrows gently. It also stretches your eyelids and your temples. In fact, I'm just noticing that when I do that, I seem to feel it in my jaw as well seems to sort of give a stretch all the way through my face. So when I raise my eyebrows, those are not the only muscles being used. Now you can just 
just gently open your mouth a bit. Not wide, just gently opening it and then closing it. If you're going to do a, a really bad impression of a goldfish, you know, so something like that. Just notice. Again, I notice when I do that, of course, I'm moving my lips and I'm moving my jaw gently. But I also notice that the rest of my face is also slightly moving as well. And my throat, and my neck, the front of my neck. There's a stretch there. Now I can't open my mouth up particularly wide. I've got quite a, a tight jaw, which is frustrating for my dentist. But as I said, you know, the mouth opens as wide as it opens, and my jaw just won't open. it's chocolate then I manage if it's cake I can really open wide then but there's something quite nice about opening your mouth gently but not wide just a little bit and you're still using all the muscles in your jaw It's almost like a meditative opening of your mouth. It's very gentle, very soft. And now I'd like you to stick your tongue out a little bit. Just just a little bit out of your mouth. Basically just stretching your tongue out. does feel a bit weird doing it. However, it feels quite nice. What I'm noticing is as I do that, my tongue gently scrapes across my lips and it feels quite nice. So seems to stretch the jaw muscles and it's quite nice, I quite like that. ask you now to just only if it feels comfortable to just turn your head to the left and then to the right but very very slowly and very very gently only a little way you're not trying to turn it all the way around you're not trying to stretch you're just moving your head very slightly just to get a sense of that movement in your neck and the feeling of your head as you move your head in fact as I move my head very gently only slightly to each side my back and my chest and now my shoulders I'm not really sure why I guess
this may be because it's going to stretch, well it is stretching the back of my neck, well it's moving the back of my neck, which is connected of course to the muscles that lead to my shoulder and my back, and the back muscles are connected to the chest muscles via the side, and they're all kind of connected together. Feels quite nice, quite calm. The next thing I'm going to ask you to do is to just, again, only if you're comfortable to do this. So if I mention to do something and there's a part of your body and it's maybe you just can't move it for whatever reason or you just don't want to, then just don't do it. It's absolutely fine. So I'm going to ask you to just raise your shoulders up very slightly. from outside someone may not even notice you doing it but you can feel it just gently raising your shoulders literally maybe half an inch and then letting them just sink down again very gently very slowly Just noticing how your shoulders feel. Now I'm going to ask you to focus on your hands and all we're going to do is just move your hands, just gently moving them from side to side, just using your wrists. gently, very softly and slowly. I'm noticing this really, I'm focusing on my wrists while as I do this. And I can feel the, the rest of my arm moving, and the muscles in my forearm. slightly moved and activated by this movement, this gentle turning of the wrists, very gentle, very soft, and very slow. on your fingers. I'd like you just to move your fingers just one at a time, very gently, very slowly, just moving them. It don't have to be in any kind of order. You don't have to move them in any kind of a way can move them side to side, up and down. You can move them up all together at the same time if you want. Just gently moving your fingers, very slowly, very slowly. you to 
just turn your hips a little bit. If you're sitting down, it's just a case of turning your body to the right and the left, but very gently and literally only maybe half an inch, the same as you did with your head earlier. Very gently to the right, very gently to the left, so slightly. So feel it in your chest. In fact, I can feel it in my entire back. Just that tiny movement, tiny micro movement in my whole upper body. You can feel that slight swing from left to right so gently so softly now we're going to focus on your legs and all I'm going to ask you to do is just to move your legs from right to left or up and down but really slightly so that someone observing you wouldn't even notice you were doing it very gently very slowly just moving the tops of your legs maybe side to side side to side very gently almost it's as if I'm hardly doing it but I can feel the movement and I can especially feel it in my hips in my buttocks and in my lower back and in my stomach actually as well but that might be because I'm sitting up on your ankles and the same as we did with your wrists I'm just going to ask you just to move your feet very very gently with your ankles moving them maybe from side to side very gently and very slowly but almost so that no one would even notice you and my knees and my thighs as well actually gently and softly and slowly and lastly we're going to focus on your toes same as with your fingers, just gently move your toes very gently and very slowly moving your toes, just noticing how they feel.
Yes. 